Hi everybody, my name is Lacey Mills. I'm from Hartford, Kentucky. I'm a junior business administration and marketing major. Um, I'm pretty involved on campus. I'm a student ambassador. I'm on the softball team. I'm also an RA. Um, I'm quite involved. So yeah, let me, guys, let me show you guys around. Here we are at an admissions counselor's office. As you can see, there's plenty of room uh, to be able to meet with students and their families uh, to talk about like potential opportunities that we have here at Kentucky Wesleyan College. Here we are in our admissions conference room. As you can see, there's plenty of room for our students and their families uh, to meet with uh, their financial aid advisors. We also have a TV here that's able to zoom into calls uh, with people wherever they may be. Here we are on the first floor of the Bernard Jones Administration Building. This is what they call your one-stop shop. We have financial aid, admissions, the business office, cashier, registrar. Moving on down to our Tapscott Chapel and President's Office. Located right here in the lobby, we also have our Alumni Hall of Fame. But other than that, we are Methodist affiliated. So we do offer chapel services every Wednesday at 1212. They're optional for students. Down by Tapscott Chapel, we do have our President's Office. This is Dr. Mitchell's first full year here at KWC. He is a really cool guy, wants to get to know you and talk to you on a first name basis. He also has a open door policy, so if you have any questions, comments, concerns about Wesleyan, he's your go-to guy. Here we are on the second floor of our administration building in one of these classrooms here that's typically used for American history. I know my freshman year, that's what I had the class for. Um, one of my favorite parts about this classroom is the furniture, especially in times like these, it makes for a great workspace where you're able to distance from each other, but also under normal circumstances, it's more workspace for everybody. Here we are continuing our tour in our administration building. I'm gonna let you in a little secret. I cannot sing, we're the hoop, but here we are in our choir room where our Wesleyan singers practice throughout the day and throughout the week. Um, it is nice to go down the hallway and to be able to hear them practice um, and enhancing their choir skills. Here we are in one of our several computer labs that we have at Kentucky Wesleyan College. Many of these computer labs are used for uh, writing workshop purposes and also other English classes. At the moment, there aren't as many laptops as we would normally have due to spacing, but you would typically have about 20 to 25 laptops in this particular room to, for, to help students um, enhance their writing skills. Here we are on the fourth floor administration building. This is the floor for our business studies. Um, as a business major, I spend quite a bit of time up here uh, for my classes. And one of my favorite things that I love about this floor is that we have all of our study areas, our professor's offices, and our classrooms all in one spot. So as we walk this way, as you can see, this is one of our study rooms that we have that are available for group work, individual work, whatever you wanna use it for, it's there for you to utilize. Right here beside me is one of our professor's offices and they have their office hours posted outside their door and that is there for you to really utilize however you want. Next we're going to look at a classroom so follow me. This is classroom 403. One of the big classrooms that we have here on our fourth floor is used for many classes I know for me, I've used it for accounting one and two, micro and macroeconomics, and also currently managerial economics. And as you can see, it's also equipped with larger tables and also my favorite, the swivel chairs for you to use. Um, easy access to group work, but also if you get a little fidgety in class, you can start rolling around a little bit uh, to you know, have some fun in class. Right here on the corner, we have our Office of Campus Ministries. So when the glowing open sign is on, that just means someone's in there to help you. Feel free to walk in there. Director Sean Toms is in there. He's a super great guy. He goes by his first name. He's more of a friend to you than anybody. Um, but Campus Ministries does all kinds of different events on campus and just has a great big role in campus life and involvement. Our first stop here in the Winchester Center is actually in front of our SSC or Student Success Center. So the cool thing about the SSC is that this is where all tutoring hours happen. And all of our tutors are actually Wesleyan students who have just taken the class and got a really good grade in it. So we tutor in math, biology, English, reading, all sorts of subjects. Other resources in the SSC include career development. So go there, have a mock job interview. They can help you write a resume, get a job while you're in college, have a job waiting for you before you even graduate. So tons of different resources that the SSC offers. A few more stops here in our Winchester Center, we have our mail room. 
It's actually a full working post office, so you can send and receive packages right here to campus. We also have our 24 hour convenience store. Go in there, grab you a snack, drink, late at night, before class, after class, as well as our Panther Den Spirit Store, where you can go grab some clothes. Don't be confused, this is not an actual bookstore. We offer a virtual bookstore for students where they can conveniently order their books, have them sent straight to campus. The next stop on our tour is Smith Lounge in Rogers Hall. So Smith Lounge, you can see, is the perfect place to come study, eat lunch. We also have computers and printers in the back so you can print stuff off at the last minute. Right here on the wall, we have our student activities programming board. The cool thing about this is that we host midnight movies, take kids to concerts, kayaking trips, trivia, bingo. Majority of these events happen right here on campus in Rogers Hall. Rogers is actually our largest event space on campus, which you all will be able to see when you get to come take your campus tour. I'm standing in front of the doors of the Powell Student Life Office, where we have our housing director, dean of students, assistant dean of students, activity director. I always like to say, if you have a question about anything, head on into Student Life. If they can't get your question answered, they'll point you in the right direction. Oh, hey. So I'm currently ordering food at the grill right now. This is to-go style meals. So you just put your order in here at the computer, they'll spit out to-go meal. It's perfect for if you're busy, you will have lots of lunch meetings. Just take your food with you. Aside from smoothies and yogurt and muffins, this is also a full working Starbucks. So the grill can fix any drink that a typical Starbucks can. Right behind me, we have a whole wall dedicated to our Student Government Association. They play a very prominent role on campus where they support all of our organizations, supply them with the funding needed to keep the organization going and get involvement going on campus as well. We have tons of different organizations, including Black Student Union, PRISM, Student Activities Programming Board, and Sierra Club. So we have stuff that applies to everyone and their needs. Behind me is the Howard Greenlow Library Learning Center, which has IT services, many different study rooms, as well as CEDL. CEDL is the Center for Engaged Teaching and Learning. Their purpose is to find you a study abroad opportunity and scholarships for study abroad, as well as being involved in the community through community service activities. I'm going to have to talk a little quieter for this one, but here we are in our Greenwell Library Learning Center. Um, it's a perfect place to study. It's always quiet. I know I study here all the time. We have plenty of resources for our students on the shelves and also on our online database for you to really um, dive into your studies and get that coursework done. Like I mentioned earlier, um, I do spend quite a bit of time here studying and one of my favorite places to study is one of our seven study rooms that we have that are semi soundproof for you to focus on your studies. You can see two of them behind me and they're equipped with tables, chairs, whiteboards. Um, don't tell anyone that I told you, but sometimes we use the windows as dry erase space, but make sure that stays between me and you. Across from our library, up these stairs around the corner is actually our Hawker dining facility. So this is your typical swipe in, sit down, buffet, cafeteria style meals where they have an ever-changing menu. We even start a meatless Monday to better suit some of our students. This concludes our tour of the Winchester Center. We're actually going to head past the quad into one of our freshman dormitories. So this big grassy area right here, this is our quad. Uh, sometimes out in the middle you can see a big burn spot. That's just where we have a bonfire for the freshmen each year. But even in the spring times, the field team will practice. So you'll see students walk in and throw in their javelin and shot put, uh, sitting out here studying, tanning, playing volleyball, throwing a football. It's just a big multi-purpose event space for students. So currently we're standing in front of Deacon Hall. This is actually our oldest dormitory on campus. You can see that we have Greek letters. Uh, this hall is actually predominantly Greek, but you do not have to be Greek to live here. It's also co-ed community style, so this hosts out as boys, that hosts out as girls. Now we do have three fraternities and two sororities on campus, and as you can see, their chapter rooms are here. We do not offer typical Greek housing, but we still offer spaces for our Greeks to coordinate meetings and hang out. So next on our tour, we're actually going to check out a room in Kendall Hall. It's our predominantly freshman dorm. So follow me. So we're here in the lobby of Kendall Hall. We have our small kitchenette behind us. This is accessible for all students on campus, um, as well as a TV here in the lobby. Uh, we have lobbies on each floor with the TV and our own Hulu and Netflix accounts. 
Uh, Kindle is also card swipe accessible. So with being community co-ed style, you have to use your card swipe to get into each residence hall. Uh, we have RAs on each floor that help coordinate events, keep residents safe, and answer all their questions. Let's check out a room in Kindle Hall. So this is a typical dorm room in Kindle Hall. You have the option to lock the bed, raise the bed, bunk them, however you'd like. You and your roommate will each get your own wardrobe, your desk. The only restrictions are one microwave, one refrigerator, and of course, no pets. So all laundry services are in the basement and you can do laundry whenever you'd like, have as many TVs as you'd like, decorate the room however you'd like. Just make sure you're not nailing any holes or painting the walls. So we're here in the Wilbur Health and Recreational Center. We have Jones Gymnasium behind me, as well as athletic offices, training rooms. We have a small auxiliary gym and some classrooms as well. So the only athletic event that's actually played here is by our women's volleyball team. Men's and women's basketball, they're gonna play at the Sports Center on Parish Avenue about a mile away. But all students have access to get into games for free as long as they have their student ID. So Kentucky Wesleyan College is a NCAA Division II school. We are a member of the Great Midwest Athletic Conference. And you can see here many of the trophies and accolades that we've won over the past couple of years. Fun fact about our men's basketball team, they actually hold the most national championships, which is a record at eight. So right here behind me, this large house is actually our president's house. Dr. Mitzel, his wife, their two dogs, they live here all year round. They host various events such as alumni events in the house. Down this way, we have our baseball field as well as stadium apartments. And on this backside campus, we also have our Ralph Center, which is for fun arts, theater, there's a Mac lab. Behind the president's house, we have the soccer field. And to the right of that is actually still stadium for football. This is the Ralph Center for the Arts where our music, theater, and art is all headquartered here. Behind me are several examples of our student art. Here we are in one of our large art studios located in the Ralph Center for the Arts. This is dedicated to our 3D art students where they can really get involved in the clay and also other media uh, to really get creative. Here we are in our Mac Lab located in the Ralph Center for the Arts. This lab here is used for our graphic design students, uh, which is updated with all the latest programs and technologies for them to really dive into their graphic design. On the wall here, as you can see, is several works that our students have done. So here at Kentucky Wrestling College, we do have our very own radio station, 90.3 WKWC. As you can see right here, we have one of our student workers that is currently on the air right at this moment. This houses our chemistry, biology, zoology, mathematics, physics department, as well as laboratories for those classes and student research labs. So we're actually gonna go up to the second floor and check out a chemistry lab. This is our general chemistry lab. It is quite a bit larger than our other labs where students of all different majors uh, do their chemistry coursework. This is our analytical chemistry lab. It is reserved for our upper level chemistry students um, it is smaller, which, you know, they can really utilize with their professors and they can work side by side and really take advantage of the instrumentation that we've provided with them here. Here we are in our microbiology lab. As you can see behind me, there are microscopes and other equipment for our students to really get the hands-on experience that they need. As a reminder, I am a business major, but I do like to think that all of our science students really get the experience and the fun that they want. This is classroom 106 located in the Yuha Khan Center for the Sciences. This is our largest and also the only tier classroom that we have on campus. Um, uh, when I was a freshman, I was in here for Intro to Biology 1, and there's also several other science classes that also take place in here. So this right here is Minerva. She's the Greek goddess of wisdom. There are actually four Minervas on the administration building at our Winchester campus. And when it burnt down in 1905, she was the only thing that survived. So Minerva has traveled campus to campus with us. We've been at Olmsmo for almost 70 years. And as you can see, she's been spray painted. It is a tradition for KWC students to come and spray paint Minerva in the middle of the night. You can get cans of spray paint in the student life office. Many organizations on campus make it their goal to keep Minerva spray painted for the longest. Concluding our tour, we have our notable alumni wall. These are alumni that are currently doing great big things within their career field of choice. 
from internal medicine to special operations. We also have alumni that work in Hawaii with animals and are even actors. So you can see that your possibilities here at Kentucky Wesleyan College are endless. So go ahead and ask yourself, are you the next big thing? This concludes our virtual tour. We would love to see you all in person. So schedule a visit at kwc.edu visit. I may even be your student ambassador.